I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, here we have this Best Tech 300 watt power supply. I just had one heck of a fireworks show. Um, this is in um, one of the computers I cleaned out today. This was in the first one, uh, the one I was getting ready to upgrade, and went to plug in and immediately just just <laughs> sound like the Fourth of July. Um, surprised it didn't trip the circuit breaker, um, but I was I guess because I was quick enough to get the uh, the plug out of the back of the power supply, that's why I didn't actually trip the breaker. But uh, yeah, I'm still kind of shaken from it. It was loud and. Still smelt quite a bit in here. Um, I just ran the exhaust fan for about five or ten minutes, and that cleared up most of it. But curiosity killed the cat. I want to see what blew up in this thing. Okay, so I just pulled the cover off this thing, and I've already spotted a problem. Um, before I show you, if I hadn't mentioned already, I had to start a new clip. Um, so this is the power supply out of that computer right there you may have seen it in a recent cleanup video um, is interesting because this power supply unit was working perfectly fine uh, as early as uh, last night when I pulled it out of service um, <clears throat> when I pulled the computer out of service brought it over here and today I took it out blew it out with the compressor same way I've always done for years and then I bring the computer inside tonight and I go to plug it up, get ready to start it up. As soon as I go to plug in the uh, AC power, BAM! Um, and really, it was more like a fireworks show. Pa -pa pow more or less, like that. <laughs> and I immediately jerked the uh, plug out of the socket. Um, it didn't trip the breaker or anything like that, but it was loud, and it stunk. Oh, it stunk bad. <laughs> so, there's inside the unit, you're like, okay, where's the issue at? Well, I'll show you. Look right here next to the uh, 5 volt standby transformer between R21 and D8, and you'll see a nice black spot. You may be able to see it on camera. I hope you can. And, uh, it's right dead center. I'm trying to get this where able to be focused, but zoomed in closer. Okay, so. If you look on that, if you look on pin 8 of the A6351A chip, you'll see a nice black spot there. Now, I've heard online that the yellow glue that they used in these best tech power supplies back then had a tendency to become conductive in the case that the glue got hot. In, in actually darkened. Now I can't be I can't be 100% certain if that was our problem cause because it's just kind of weird how this thing would have you know, had this thing was working fine and then all of a sudden BAM! Maybe what could have happened was when I cleaned it out maybe in the factory this thing when they soldered it together maybe there was a loose piece of solder next to one of the leads of the uh, 5 volt standby transformer and a nice um, a nice burst of air was enough to short something out in this thing. Now, like I say, uh, I've been I clean this one out the same way I've always been cleaning these things out. Um, really, the power supply is in the computers. No different than any way I've done for the past decade at least. So it it could be it could have been related to the clean out today, or, or maybe not. You can see I didn't really blow too heavily in this power supply because you can still see there's little bits of dust on like the heat sinks and stuff like that. And the fan has some dust still kicked in it. Yeah, I'm still zoomed in. But, oh, there we go. Perfect. There's you a good look at it. It's, it's right there between diode 8 and resistor 21. There's a nice black spot. And it looks like the, uh, it looks like the fault was right around the leads of that 5 volt standby transformer, the smaller transformer there. It's almost like that's where the fault was, um, the, the short. 
because this thing, I mean, it went out with a bang. Um, I should mention these, uh, you know, these power supplies. You know, they, at least in the United States or North America, they take in 120 volts and use a voltage doubler to step that up to a much higher voltage. So, a rectified AC or you know, a straight DC voltage rectified for 120 volts. I think it's about 170 volts, and then. And this old style power supply, they, use, they utilize a voltage double circuit to get you about, what, 340 volts? Something like that. DC, which um, then passes through the uh, main switcher. Or in this case, um, not in this case, the, the, uh, the main, well, yeah, it normally goes to the main switcher to this transformer, but the 5 volt standby transformer is a little bit different. Um, yeah, this is a, this is an integrated circuit, regulated 5 volt standby circuit. Um, I would say either the uh, either that UC um, 3842B chip or the A6351A has something to do with regulating the 5 volt standby in this unit. But, uh, it does. It, it you know really to be honest, I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking at that glue spot there and it's almost like the uh, the glue had something to do with this I can't say for certain because there's definitely a nice black spot right there next to uh, resistor 21 so I'll say this this is this is quite a crazy uh, quite a crazy explosion here um, too bad I wasn't recording the video of plugging this thing in and starting it but uh Man, it was. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still kind of shook up a little bit. Um, this thing, it, it stinks. It really just stinks. <laughs> but uh, it's been about, probably been about five years or so since I've had a power, since I've had a power supply explode on me like this. So. You can see where uh, you can see that spot of glue right there, where it goes down toward the circuit or the uh, the IC. It's dark right there, but I don't exa I don't exactly think that was this, this, the the uh, failure spot. Again, I know I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry, but uh, it it seems like the uh, the fault was more around that five volt standby transformer. So, I may follow up with a later video where I take this thing apart. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll tear it apart and um, desolder that 5 volt standby transformer. And we can get an idea of exactly what shorted out in this thing. So, I think I'll do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video and then be on the lookout for a part 2. Um, if I don't have a part 2 for any reason, I'll just go ahead and note right here in the video somewhere. So anyways, that was <laughs> that was pretty crazy. It's funny. Um, and of course, I'm up late at night as, as usual. It's uh, like 2.30 in the morning on Memorial Day. So we had some early Memorial Day fireworks, guys, <laughs> in this power supply unit. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video, but don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel, and also don't forget to tick the bell so that we will get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back, and thank you for your support.